Uh, the next is a talk uh, by Dr. Balaji Rajendran. Uh, the topic of the talk is uh, Domain Name Server Health Indexing. Good evening to all of you. Uh, this is a work that we have been carrying out as part of the C Center of Excellence in DNS Security project. The idea is basically to uh, uh, find out the health of the domain name servers. So first let me just go and give a very brief introduction of why this is required. Uh, when you request for a website or even a mail server request, what happens is basically uh, it goes to a recursive resolver. Uh, the typically the query goes to a recursive resolver which actually goes to a root name server that is A2M any one of them on any one of the instances of root, uh, of those name servers and further that uh, information gets passed on to uh, different name servers till it reaches the last uh, second level domain name authoritative name server so this is a sequence of steps in which the domain name gets resolved and uh, uh, the entire information is basically available so just what i want to tell you is any website or any domain name if let us say if this uh, name server if it is not accessible then automatically your website will not be reachable so the health of uh, the name servers these name servers are very very important so that is a very important point basically how we are trying to measure the health of it we have the uh, you can actually find out the health of the name servers which is actually made available as a tool in our website and a complete report is also available in both html and pdf formats we have categorized the parameters of health into multiple things that is whether your domain name is being served by multiple name servers which are located in geographically different regions of the world if then then the more robustness and resiliency factors come in how far the reachability and responsiveness and availability of your name servers are there that is one thing and whether your name servers are configured for privacy and sub security that is also there and finally uh, whether your name servers have been hardened for their operating systems and the software which is running them and the configurations are they robust and whether they have been tuned for their performance and security that is also looking into it so uh, these are the protocols and the parameters which we have been using it and whether there is a support for uh, reachability that is for dual stack ipv4 ipv6 and whether uh, there is a support for extended dns that is edns whether extended packet sizes and uh, also the availability of authoritative uh, answers zone transfer checks whether the recursion has been disabled or not because an authoritative name server generally should be disabled for uh, recursion <coughs> sorry and whether it can handle non-existent domains in the dns server that also we'll have to a check and as per software uh, cybersecurity policies your uh, software version number should not be disclosed as far as the uh, dns servers are concerned so whether it is there or not and uh, whether we are getting the name servers or versions or not because that is actually uh, paves the way for finding out the vulnerability in that version and then paves the way for attackers to attack that particular version and then there is a reverse lookup of the domain name server and a resource record set match whether all these things are actually being taken care and the recursion is disabled or not nsec is disabled or not all those things are there so uh, round trip time also is a very important factor how much time does it takes for the uh, query to respond they get the response so that we keep measuring over a period of time and then we also check for the consistency of the records ds records ksk dns sec strength everything so this is for an uh, example of our own domain cdac.in how much time is actually happening and the, the number of all the parameters the red ticks are ones which are I mean, the red crosses are ones which has to be uh, focused upon by the uh, uh, managers of those name servers and uh, the uh, round trip time also actually shows uh, whether an increase or decrease one of the name servers shows the increase in reaching and the other name servers actually shows the decrease in uh, uh, reaching time. so the green the lesser the better so that is actually computer over average we keep on calculating this average over a period of time so what we have done is we are basically we have created an index of uh, name servers these are the name servers which are uh, used by the top websites of our country so uh, whatever the government websites and uh, the even the uh, top websites uh, of even google or gmail or amazon those websites whatever the name servers that they are using those name servers are actually captured and we measure their performance here so if any of these name servers are experiencing failure you will 
experience sluggishness in internet access because you will not be able to reach your favorable favorite websites so that is the thing so this is how we have created this particular index uh, which consists of the uh, major of course there are as a index constituent a certain uh, domain names will get in and get out also because of popularity but generally most of the things as you can see that uh, you have ecdns N nic's uh, name servers and the name servers hosted by big rock and amazon and of course google so these are primarily uh, of course even certain also so these are certain uh, uh, web, web, uh, these name servers are hosting the india's top websites and uh, this thing so we keep measuring them for their uh, both their performance as well as for security and this is how we have been creating this uh, index actually so this is the data that we have been collecting uh, over a period of time and then uh, we are also looked at the round trip time also uh, so we have been measuring the round trip time from multiple locations and uh, this is actually given in milliseconds as you can see that uh, uh, the comparatively uh, big rocks uh, names are actually little taking more time so this gets added up in uh, your uh, resolution of queries and your other internet experiences so uh, this is the thing and of course just i wanted to point out that uh, nic's web servers are just i mean these are some of the websites which they are serving so for example mygov.in meti.gov.in these are india.gov.in these are being served by the name servers from ns1 2 and 7.nic.in so if any of these name servers fail then you will not be able to reach these websites similarly uh, amazon.in is being served by amzndns.com and co.uk and similarly google.in and all these things and suppose if you are browsing internet in your own uh, uh, local language uh, one of the name servers is uh, ns4.dildns.com uh, so if that name server is down obviously most of the if you are uh, using universal accessibility then you will not be able to access those uh, websites so actually this is a work in progress we are trying to establish the index for a period of time so uh, that that's my short presentation Thanks.